Hi Gemini, Libra and Aquarius Air Signs. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing and subscribing. I really appreciate all of your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out what did the person on your mind think about you before they went to sleep last night. And today is the 27th of July 2023 time here in Hoi An, Vietnam is 8.57 a.m. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Gemini, Libra and Aquarius. If you were to finally guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same signs. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, air signs. The person on your mind right now, what do they think of air signs before, before they went to sleep? Now think about the person you like to know right now. What do they think of you before they went to sleep last night? one some of first at the bottom of the deck i do see a few versions here the first version is the eight of cups ten of swords and the emperor so it could be them thinking about you leaving them that both of you are separated how bad it was the separation or they could be thinking about if you were to walk away from them if you haven't walked away yet they will be devastated, okay? Um, hmm. Now we've got the Wheel of Fortune right here, the Knight of Wands, so the person in your mind could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. Could also be a Pisces, could be a Virgo, could be an Aries, Leo again, can be any sign. The Eight of Cups is walking towards somewhere too, right? And the Wheel of Fortune can indicate travel. Okay, so this part is for those of you if the person in your mind lives far away from you, okay? They could be thinking about taking actions towards you, but to fly towards you or have you fly towards them, but it could also mean ten of swords. That means it could mean that they will have to end something else in their life in order to get to you. Mm -hmm. And they could be trying to decide that in the midst of deciding two of pentacles before they went to sleep, trying to gain some clarity, um, trying to make this decision again a positive decision trying to make the right decision planning hmm. but they're kind of unsure two of pentacles see you see that look at the ten of swords like this is the lowest anyone can get right and beneath it is is the sun <laughs> that's such a big opposite right and i've got the two of pentacles and there are two pentacles here. So it's like up, down, up, down, right? A juggler. So they could be juggling with the fact that am I actually, will I actually be happy with air signs or will I be, will, will we have a bad ending? Will we end? Will this be a positive connection or will this be a negative connection? But also, if you've already walked away from this person, if this is someone you separated from, they could be thinking, you know, yeah, good, this is over. But at the same time, no, it's not good because I feel like S-H-I-T. So they may have two feelings, thinking about two things or feeling two ways simulti simultaneously, <laughs> simultaneously, yes. If you look at this row here, it, it looks like that. It's like, ah, uh, up, down, up, down. Yeah, I'm happy this is over, but also I'm very devastated <laughs> that this is over. Is this a bad thing that this is over? Or if this is a good thing that this is over, if you are separated from this person, okay? Unless the son, if the, the person you're thinking about is someone new, then they could be thinking, hey, you know, that's the end of my, this chapter. I'm walking away from this chapter and I'm looking forward to have this new start with air signs. Something in the past they are leaving behind, they could be thinking about and then move towards you. Or that they could be thinking you are moving towards them after leaving behind something. And they want to be positive about it. They want to feel pos they want to feel positive about it, but also they may have some doubts uh, whether you are going to or not, if you're gonna leave behind something, someone or not. Okay, again, 
so many angles in this spread, this reading right here. Just take what resonates with you. We've got the emperor here. So they could be thinking, I need to take charge. I need to take, I need to take control. Or that they could be thinking that you've been taking charge, you've been taking control, or maybe the ball is on your side right now. And you know the sun sometimes can indicate there is a child as a pet. They could be thinking about the child or the pet. If you have a child and a pet with this person, or you yourself have one, or they have one, again it could go vice versa, it could be both. Future of the children, future of the pet. If this part is only for those of you if you have those things, okay, like children and pet. Hmm. And then we've got the hangman right here. It's in reverse. So now I feel like the person you're thinking, the person on your mind right now, last night they were thinking about, okay, eventually I'll have to come out of this zone this hangman zone putting this on at a pause or like i need to come out of this i need to start to make things happen with the magician you could be thinking i need to make a decision i need to manifest i need to make something happen here but i'm still kind of decisive but there's this energy where that they know they need they need to do it as soon as possible to take responsibility or to be responsible or to step up and to really make things happen, right? They separated, it could be thinking, okay, um, eventually I'll, I'll have to make a choice. Two of Pentacles in, in an upright position. I'll have to make a choice. I can't stay in this position, the hangman position for too long. I'll have to take charge. I'll have to make this decision and make it happen. Whether it's to reconcile with a fortune, little fortune, can you know, second chance, sometimes indicate reconciliation as well i think if that's the case if you're separated the person on your mind right now could be thinking is there a chance for reconciliation or should i take actions towards reconciliation but eventually i'll have to make a decision whatever decision that i make i'll have to i have to stick to it because the emperor is definitely like sticking to it right he's wearing this steel boots and uh, planted on the ground so it's like sticking to it so they could be thinking yeah whatever decision i'm gonna be making whether to reconcile or not i'll have to stick to it i have to yeah and that's it if i want to reconcile then i have to do the best that i can hmm, to see their point of view because of the hangman here in my first let's pull up a few more Cause to put themselves in your shoes or see your point of view and to have this equal give and take but we've got ten of cups here so they could be thinking about the happy times the future most likely ten of cups is about the future so they could be thinking about either starting a family with you or being in a happy environment working well together having children together uh, or Keeping the children together, if you have children with this person, marriage, you could indicate that as well. If there's a romantic connection, and we've got the Queen of Cups here, so the person on your mind could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, two of Wands in one first. And then we've got the Fool in one first. So, you know, the person on your mind last night, he or she was thinking about, okay, I don't want to make a mistake here, but I really want this. I really want to make this very serious decision in regards to air signs. Because I do love, I do care about air signs. I do really want to give our connection a chance or a second chance if you're separated. They're still kind of torn though in between. Like will this be a happily ever after, ten of cups? Or will this be a disaster waiting to happen with the ten of swords here? Let's pull out a few more. Power Swords and one first, Three of Cups, definitely thinking about seeing you again, or maybe was also thinking about your past um, interaction with each other and with other people as well. Hmm. 
Three of Cups is a reunion energy, it's a reconciliation energy as well. So if you're separated, then yes. I would say that it could be thinking or imagining too because the cups, and they're not pentacles, so these cups here indicates like it hasn't actually happened yet. It's just them feeling like they want it to happen. Mm -hmm. But if this is someone you are kind of connected to um, and not really, not separated, uh, someone new, yeah, they could be thinking about, hey, I had such a good time with air signs. I did have some good times with air signs. And I do want to see air signs again. This could actually be a really good union. Good partnership. But they're still not very clear, right? Because we've got the King of Swords here in reverse. The Fool in reverse. Hmm. All right, I just saw 1010. Check out your angel number if you want to. Just Google it, angel number 1010. There could be some other important messages for you over there. But zero usually indicates a new beginning. So this person on your mind, last night could be thinking about this new beginning with you, okay? Whether it's to restart something or to have, to continue this connection where it could grow into like a new beautiful beginning, all right? Air signs, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel. It's called Chelsea Vlogs, my travel channel. And for those of you who like to be notified every time when I post your videos, don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. Take care. Bye.